Hello and welcome to my channel, Think Collecting. Today I want to go over a few Lego sets that have recently caught my eye as I was going through my Lego room the other day. And the reason they caught my eye is because they've just kind of like gone up in value quite a bit. So I want you guys to be on the lookout for a couple of the sets that I'm going to show you today. I'm going to go through about, I'd say about 10 sets from the Chronicles of Yoda back in 2013. So. Uh, back then, you know, a lot of people told me, they said, you know what, don't bother wasting your time buying these sets because it's just not worth it. You know, it's like they make so many of them and, you know, it's like they're always going to be available. But like from what I've noticed now, it's like they seem to be in very short demand, especially if you have like sealed ones, which all mine are. And I always keep all my Legos sealed because I collect and sell. So that's what I kind of do. So yeah, I'm going to go over a couple that I found in my storage room that are kind of, I'm on the fence of whether I'm going to be selling them or keeping them and having them maybe go up still in value. Um, so the reason I think they're going up in value is due kind of towards like that Man the Mandalorian that's coming out soon. The new season's going to be coming out pretty quick. And, you know, I think there's some characters in these Lego sets that are going to be showing up in the show. So that's kind of cool. And everybody wants to have the characters that are in the show. That's just how it is. So I'm going to go through a couple of these sets. And all I want to show you is how, how much they're going for on the secondary market right now. Used and new. So, I mean, you probably can find some of these still on like your used sites for all sales because like 2013 is only seven years ago. That's relatively uh, recent. So lots of these sets are just still kicking around and you're going to be shocked on how much these li even the little ones are worth. Like it's insane. Insane amounts how compared to what we bought them for. Okay, so let's get started. So the first one I'm going to show you here is this big one right in front of me right here. It's uh, the Star Wars uh, ATTE set. And uh, yeah, so this one on the, on the secondary market, it's going for about $325 US sealed in box. That's like a high end price. And it has to be, you know, it has to be in good condition and stuff like that. So that's that. And used, if you can find it, is going for about 200 bucks. And when I say used, it's nice if the box is there and it's open and all the instructions and all that, but sometimes it doesn't have the box and still it's going for that kind of a price. So that's that one. Next, I'm gonna show you one of the Battle of the Hoth sets. Here it is, 75014. Now, this set here is got some exclusive minifigures in it, which is really cool. It's got two of them and it's gaining value pretty quick. So back then, I think I picked this set up for about $39 and now it is selling for close to $100 sealed and about $60 if you can find it complete. But it gets better as I go through these sets. They, they get even better. So next up, I'm gonna go through this one, set 75017, Duel on Genesis. So this one here is going for about 115 bucks sealed and 80 used on the secondary market. So so far the ATTE is $325, that was only about a $60 set, $70 set. That's insane. I mean, that's like four or five times what it was bought for just recently. Next, I want to show you a cool one. This one's going up really quick, and I love this set. I had a couple of these, but this is my last one of it. So it's 75004. This is the uh, Z95 Headhunter set. Super cool. It's got the exclusive minifigure in there. And this one's already going for about $130 US on the secondary market. And it's it's right up there used. Even used, it's going for 100 bucks. So if you can find this for $20, I mean, you're gonna make five times your money. So it's a good thing to look out for. It's huge money. And they're still going up, probably because of the minifigure in this set. So very cool set to look out for. Next, I am going to go through this one. This one's really popular. This one's gaining gaining value really quickly. This is the uh, Umbaran MHC Mobile Heavy Cannon. Now I know why this one's going up in value quick because the uh, Ashoka Tano figure in this one. She I, apparently I think is in the new 
Mandalorian. I, I swear I keep seeing her name associated with Mandalorian. And it kind of makes sense because this set here is already anywhere. I saw one sell for $200 already. So I'm, I'm on the fence of selling this now because like, I think I paid like 30 bucks for it, like I said. So this one's insane. $200 it sold for. And even, even on the, even if you can find it used, it's still going for like $120 to $150. So this one is the, in my opinion, one of the top ones to look for. And especially that those mini picks in this set. There's three, I think, exclusives in this set. Next, we'll go down to something a little smaller scale. So I also picked up these little uh, packs. I'm not going to call them battle packs because they don't actually say they're battle packs on the thing. They're just called Clone Trooper versus uh, Droidicus. So these are going for a whopping amount too. I mean, I got these for like 10 bucks, I think, on clearance, maybe even five. And these are already going for about $60 US just for this little tiny battle pack, this little tiny pack, 60 bucks. And if you could find them used, they're going for like 40. So all, be on the lookout for all these little battle packs. They're just skyrocketing in value. Sealed if you can find them. I love when they're sealed. Next is another battle pack, same kind of thing. Same battle pack, it's uh, the 75001. And these are going for about 40 bucks sealed about 40 bucks used as well. So they're, these are on fire right now. You wanna buy those. Couple more to go through. Next are a couple mid-scale ones. Um, first one we're gonna go through is the Mandalorian Speeder 75022. This one's going for about $110 right now on the secondary market and used about 80. And I, I'm guessing the reason it's going for so much. Well, it's got an awesome Darth Maul figure and two cool Mandalorian figures in it. And I mean, Mandalorian is hot right now. Another kind of Mandalorian set, not gonna talk too much about this one, but about 50 bucks new, six, sorry, 50 bucks, 60 bucks new, and secondary market about 40 bucks. Now, this one here is one that you gotta be looking for. This is set 75012. This is Bark Speeder with Sidecar. Now, I already sold one of these and it sold like that, and I think I got $200 US for it. Insane. So look at how small this thing is. It's only 226 pieces. Now the reason this one's selling, it's got some crazy exclusive minifigures. It's got that Obi-Wan and the Captain Rex. So I'm hanging on to this one. I don't think I'm getting rid of this. This seems like it just keeps going up and up. And like I said, this has already hit prices of even up to $250. And even used, it's going for about $175. So this is the one that is, when you're looking for like used Legos, if they got something like this in there, you want to be buying it. It's worth a ton of money. And it's an awesome collectible. So yeah, be on the lookout for that. And the last the last one I'm going to talk about is a Lego from, uh, it's actually from 20, the 2012 line. Nothing to do with the Yoda Chronicles line. I just wanted you guys to be also aware that a lot of battle pack, a lot of these battle packs right now, these clone battle packs are just rocketing in value. This one here, some have already sold for almost a hundred dollars sealed, depending on condition of the box and stuff like that, and used about 50 bucks, 60 bucks. So please be on the lookout for these. If you can find them sealed, people who sometimes sell them for next to nothing. And you never know, you might even find them still in some old store or something. I don't know. But Star Wars Lego right now is really heating yeah. up. I hope you like this video and please subscribe to my channel if you want to follow my latest trends and kind of what's happening in the collectible world, in my opinion at least, and this kind of stuff I collect. Comment and subscribe and thank you. Bye-bye.